questions. We all have them, but we'll use yours to help you create more content for social media. Welcome to day 12 of content repurposing tutorials where I'm going to share with you time-saving content ideas for all of you busy creators out there. Today, we are going to be creating question graphics inside of Canva. Let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Canva and Canva has a ton of different templates as I've showed you all already. So what we can do here is put question. So once we let that page load up, we can go through and look at all of the templates that people have already made for us to be able to use. Once again, if you don't have the Canva Pro, you will want to avoid the ones with the little crown and you can just look for something that is crownless so that you can make your question. I like this one because you all know I like teal. So I'm going to click right in here and we are going to further customize this template. One of the reasons why I like question graphics is because it allows me to create an additional piece of content with minimum effort. And also it increases my engagement for anybody that wants to answer, or maybe I answer and engage with people in the comments. So we have the simple graphic right here and you can just change the question. What does it do? I'll put in person. We'll minimize that. What does content repurposing mean to you? Have write your answer in the comments. So always give them a prompt or a call to action for people to kind of respond. You can go ahead and make any further adjustments that you like. Like I said, templates are amazing because it's literally plug and play and you just modify as you like it. So those of you who have your brand already loaded up in Canva, the free version can have one and the pro version can have as many as you want. You can click through here and be able to kind of change uh, for your brand messaging. I actually like the yellow for this time right here and you can change your fonts however you like. I'll go with semi bold and I'll just change this color just to see. Let's see what I, and I'll move this down. Okay. One of the other things I like to do for these, you can keep it as simple or as complex as you like. What I want to do next is add some type of graphic in the background. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to look for elements. I'm going to look for a question mark. Just to add something into the background. And if you have the pro version, you see these crowns right here. We can press see all. And ooh, I like this here. So I'm going to add this and I'm going to put it in the background just to make it more interesting. Change the position, move it all the way to the back. And I'm also going to decrease the transparency okay and then also make sure that you change this here uh, so whether it be your website or your handle name so I'm gonna put Abby teaching a bar if you don't already follow me I'd love to have some more friends on Instagram or wherever you found me okay I'm gonna change this to a bolder one send me a bold I put an effect just for the background maybe this one or maybe I'll just put a background on it. We'll put a white background on it. Excellent. Great. Make sure things are kind of lined up nicely. And I'm going to just put this in some more so I can make it a little bit bigger. Move this down. Move this down. And it can be that simple, folks. You have an additional piece of content that you can post just from questions that you have or your audience has. So your next step will be to download it and upload it to your favorite social media channel. And this will help encourage your audience to engage with you so that you can answer their questions and know more of the things that you can provide for them. Speaking of questions, what other questions do you have for me? We're in day 12 of 30, so I still have time to answer your questions. Please comment below and I'll be sure to include it as we continue on this journey.